In this video, we're gonna go through a cardio and strength training workout. This workout is not designed for absolute beginners, as the workout does demand a lot of leg work and some higher intensity cardio exercises. You're gonna need dumbbells, and for all of these exercises, use lighter weights, nowhere near your maximum lifting abilities. This workout is gonna be done in a circuit style of training to keep your heart rate elevated. So three circuits of three exercises in group one, three circuits of three exercises in group two, and three circuits of three exercises in group three and make sure you warm up prior to exercise. All right, let's roll. The first exercise is a backwards and forwards farmer's walk. Start by standing and holding dumbbells with only your fingers at your sides. From this position, walk backwards, taking 10 steps with each foot. Then walk forwards, again, taking 10 steps with each foot to the spot you started at. This exercise will work your forearms, grip strength, and directional movement. Little to no rest and move to the next exercise, which is a push-up side open. Start by doing a push-up, but as you return to the top position, swing your left arm off the ground and open your torso up, maintaining your balance with your right arm and hand. Then return your left arm and hand to the starting push-up position. Alternate which side of your body you open up as you complete each push-up. Four to five repetitions on each side of your body, and this exercise will work your chest, shoulders, triceps, and core. Little to no rest and move to the next exercise, which is four corner jumps. Start by standing and having a slight bend at the knees and take a small jump forward, then a small jump to the right, then a small jump backwards, then a small jump to your left, which completes one repetition. Do eight to 12 repetitions and try to increase the pace as you get more comfortable with the movement. This exercise will work your legs, coordination, and directional movement. Take a short one to two minute break and repeat these three exercises, then another short one to two minute break and repeat the exercises one last time and that completes circuit number one. For circuit number two, we're gonna start with a combination movement of a squat and arm curls to shoulder presses. From a standing position, holding dumbbells with your palms facing in at your sides, squat down, bending at the waist and knees, keeping your feet flat on the ground, lowering your butt to a position that is comfortable for your range of motion. Then return up to the starting position and perform arm curls, bringing the dumbbells up near your shoulders, and then push the dumbbells up above your head, extending at the elbows then back down with the dumbbells, and then finish the arm curls. And this completes one full repetition. You can do eight to 12 repetitions, and this exercise will work your legs, arms, and shoulders. Little to no rest, and then on to single leg dumbbell kickbacks while holding on to something. Start by holding on to something with your right hand. Stand on your left leg with your right leg slightly off the ground. Bend over at the hip to a position that is comfortable for your range of motion. Have a bend at the knee, and hold a lighter dumbbell with your left hand with your upper arm near parallel to the ground and your lower arm at a 90 degree angle to your upper arm. From this position, extend at the elbow, pushing the dumbbell upwards behind you to a position that is comfortable for your range of motion, then lower it down to the starting position. Once you finish with your left arm, switch around and do your right arm. Eight to 12 repetitions for each arm, and this exercise targets the triceps in the back of your upper arms and will also work your legs in balance. Little to no rest, and then on to sidewalks or runs. Start by getting in the athletic position with a slight bend at the knees and waist. From this position, move to your right, moving with your right foot, then left foot for 10 paces. Then move to your left, left foot, then right foot for 10 paces again. And this completes one full cycle. Do two to three cycles and try to increase the pace as you get more comfortable with the movement. This exercise will work your legs, coordination, and directional movement. Take a short one to two minute break and repeat these three exercises. Then another short one to two minute break and repeat the exercises one last time. And that completes circuit number two. For circuit number three, we're gonna start with a combination movement of deadlifts and rows. Start by standing straight and have straight or slightly bent knees holding dumbbells at your sides. From this position, bend at the waist, pushing your butt backwards, lowering the weights toward the ground to a position that is comfortable for your range of motion. Once you've reached the bottom position, pull the dumbbells up towards the sides of your torso and then back down with the dumbbells. Then extend at the waist, back up to the starting position. And that completes one repetition. This exercise will work your glutes, legs, and back. Little to no rest and then on to dumbbell golf swings. From a standing position with a slight bend at the knees, hold the dumbbell out in front of you with your arms extended. From this position, Rotate your torso and arms to your left, bringing the dumbbell up to a position that is comfortable for your range of motion. Then rotate your torso and arms to your right, bringing the dumbbell up, again, to a position that is comfortable for your range of motion. 
six to 10 repetitions, and this exercise will work your core, legs, glutes, and shoulders. Little to no rest, and then on to walking lunge side raises. Start by standing straight, holding dumbbells with your arms at your sides. From this position, step forward with your left leg, lunge down, and raise the dumbbells up and out away from your body, then back down. As you come up from the lunge, step forward with your right foot and perform another lunge and side raise. And continue to alternate legs as you see here. Four to six reps per leg, and this exercise will work your legs, shoulders, and balance and coordination. Take a short one to two minute break and repeat these three exercises, then another short one to two minute break and repeat the exercises one last time. And that completes circuit number three. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. If not, if you feel this video is an absolute nutter piece of garbage, you can always, boom, pound that thumbs down and give me some immediate punishment for wasting your precious time. If, however, you feel this video is maybe average or maybe even slightly above average, well, in that case, I do have sh sh more videos right there that you might have an interest in. Till next time, I am out of here.